Oh my god, I have so much stuff. Three bags plus more. Oh my god. This has got to be my biggest haul I've ever done, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. You might want to grab yourself a drink, maybe a snack, because this might be a long one. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have probably the biggest Dollar Tree haul that I've ever done because I have accumulated stuff over the past few weeks and it's just a giant old haul. If you love Dollar Tree hauls, you might want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I do Dollar Tree hauls all the time on this channel because I am a Dollar Tree addict and I'm okay with it. I am definitely not ashamed of my Dollar Tree love. So I have, like I said, so much stuff. So I figured I would start with the Easter stuff first because that's what I have the least of. That way I can keep it a bit organized. You guys, I still have not decorated for Easter. My plan is to decorate for Easter. Hopefully on Friday, my husband and my daughter will be on a field trip. So I really don't have anything else planned for that day. I kind of like left it open so that I could hopefully decorate for Easter. So fingers crossed that happens. If you watch a lot of Dollar Tree hauls, you've probably seen the majority of this Easter stuff. But if you don't really watch a ton of Dollar Tree hauls, uh, maybe you haven't seen any of this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and share it real quick. I picked up in my shop with me that I posted yesterday, I shared these little speckled eggs. I think that they had these last year too. I love these, I think they're so cute. They come in this little container which you could leave it on its own and just use it as decor like that. Or obviously you could take the eggs out and use it as decor that way. I have four of them. So I'm going to use these in my decorating on Friday. I'm putting it out there. I'm getting it done on Friday. I'll be a week and a couple days ahead of Easter, which is not very good, but hey, I'm trying my best. I also picked up some of these yarn carrots. I don't remember them having these last year. These are so freaking cute. I love them so much. I picked up a couple packs of them. I actually picked these up a few weeks ago, so they might not have these at Dollar Tree anymore, but maybe you can find them if you're really looking hard and you're at a dollar tree that's not like super busy all the time i had an intention of doing a diy with these but i just never got around to it so i'll probably still you know do something cute with them but my goodness they are just like so perfect for diys but even just cute little easter decor like next to a little bunny or some eggs so flipping cute yesterday i found these little purple bunny picks my daughter's favorite color is purple so i thought she would think these were so cute they also had these in blue as well i'm not sure if they had any other colors but at mine it was just blue and this purple I also picked up one of these little Easter Bunny tails. I think I have one of these, but I wasn't certain if I lost it because I feel like last year I lost it. So I got one just in case because how cute is this on like a little kid? I'm gonna make Lennon, even though she's eight, I'm gonna make her put it on her and take a cute picture with it. But you could obviously do little DIYs with this as well. So love these. This little basket skirt Lennon actually saw and she wanted it. So I picked it up for her. I've never really seen something like this at Dollar Tree before. I don't think. Um, but I think it's a cute idea. Does it look like the highest quality something? No. And if you don't have kids, you probably like wouldn't really care for this but since my daughter did want it i think it'll be cute oh let's see what it looks like so i also picked up this basket which i intended to do a diy with never got around to i also found this floral oh my gosh i hit the jackpot when i found this because i never see this floral at my dollar tree and this one is just oh there's got lots of like fuzzes coming off of it but it's so pretty i think it's so pretty for spring this one has this like funky little purple stem and then this one has these little berries on the stem i think they're so pretty i think these will be cute all during spring and summer and i also picked up these eggs these um not glitter, what are those, like beaded eggs. They had these last year as well, and I had some last year, so I just picked up some of these yellow ones. So that's what it looks like. I think it's cute for the right thing. Obviously, it's not like the classiest, fanciest, most luxurious looking thing, but I think it's cute. I think my daughter will like it. I think it's a cute concept. I would love it if they carried this in like different fabrics, but Regardless, the idea is super cute. I also picked up this sign. They had the sign last year. This little galvanized part fell off the bottom of this, so I have to glue that back on. 
but I, when I got this, I forgot that I had this from last year. And then I was reminded on Facebook, you know how your memories pop up? A picture of this came up, I'm like, oh yeah, I do have that. So it's still cute regardless though. If you saw my Dollar Tree shop with me yesterday, you saw that I picked up this sign. I think it's really cute. It's so springy. It's kind of kiddish, but I have a kid. So, you know, I can throw in the kid stuff. Or even if you don't have a kid, like I am drawn to these pastel colors and I just, I don't know, there's something about it that I really like. I also showed this sign in my shop with me yesterday and again, I was just kind of drawn to it. I always feel like you can never have too many signs because you can just like put them around in different spots and it really like just brings that area to that like vibe or holiday or whatever. Um, so you know, I had to grab it. So I found this book that has Cameron Diaz's face on it and it says the science of aging, the biology of strength and the privilege of time. I don't know, I found it interesting and I mean, it was only a dollar so I thought I would give it a little look-see. Sometimes you can find some really great books at Dollar Tree so when I saw that I was like, I'll give that a look. I also picked up some more of this reindeer moss. Lately, I haven't seen the green moss. I've only seen the brown moss and so when I saw this, I went ahead and grabbed some just to have for like spring, summer, DIY, crafting, home decor, little filler things. I don't know why I haven't really seen a lot of the actual green um, and just the brown lately. Normally they used to always have this green moss there, but I don't know. I also picked up this little wooden bookmark. Lennon was already using it as a bookmark and I forgot to show it. So I thought this was so cute. My daughter loves to read and I just love that it's like, a wood bookmark. I've never seen something like this at Dollar Tree and I love that it has like the little jewel. Oh, it matches my nail. I feel like there were a few other sayings. I gave like two or three to Lennon. So she has the other ones, but super cute. And if you can find these, these would be great in a little Easter basket for a kid that loves to read, even an adult that loves to read. Oh, I forgot an Easter thing. I grabbed some of these last year and when I saw them again this year, I figured I would go ahead and grab some more just to have. Now it's a little late to really do anything fun with it, but I'll have them for next year. The next thing that I found are these furry fuzzy flip flops. They had them in another color that actually went, I think it was like a light blue color, but they didn't have my size. So I got this like hot pink pair. Didn't get these to wear out and about. I wanted another little pair of shoes to wear around the house. Obviously they're not gonna be like super comfy, but just to wear around the house, I thought that they might would be comfortable. So I'm gonna give them a try. Some more of that moss. Okay, I had sworn off buying candles from Dollar Tree a while ago, but I found these and I thought of my daughter and I thought they would look cute in her bathroom. So I got this one, it says Mermaid Dreams, along with this one that says Unicorn Magic and it says the scent is sugared marshmallow. It smells quite delightful if you like like a sweet candy smell. Mm. I don't have high hopes of it actually making her bathroom smell nice, but I think it, she'll think it's cute. I feel like Dollar Tree has come out with so many cute little backpack tags, luggage tags, things like that, and I get suckered into them because I think they're so cute. And look at this one. I just loved this so much. Lennon wants to put this one on her backpack, um, but it's just super, super cute. You don't have to like put anything on the back or you could put like a cute little picture in there or something like that if you don't want to use it as an address tag or you could use it on a suitcase or whatever you want but i just thought the glittery front with all those colors was so cute i also picked up a pack of pens and my daughter must have gotten into it because one of the pens is gone maybe i got into it I don't even know. I also picked up some of these Betty Crocker measuring spoons. You guys, I've been using busted measuring spoons that I don't even know how old they are. And I thought to myself one day, I know they sell these at Dollar Tree. Why don't I just grab a pack of them at Dollar Tree for a dollar? So I finally did that. I don't love that they're red. I would prefer some white measuring spoons, but for a dollar, I'm not gonna complain. They'll do the job. I also picked up this little water gun for my daughter to play with because she loves swimming in the pool and playing with water guns and stuff like that. So, I mean, what kid doesn't like to do that? This pool noodle chair I picked up last year and it worked pretty dang well. Obviously, you still have to buy the noodle, but you just hook this around your pool noodle and you can kind of just sit in there. I mean, it holds you up as good as a noodle is gonna hold you up. So it's, you're not gonna be like up out of the water. It's not the most attractive thing in the whole world. It's lime green, but my husband loves lime green. And I actually got a purple pool noodle. Dollar Tree has not done a good job of coming out with pool floats this year. They have like some really like 
standard ones that are just like a pink and a blue i think but they're the tiny ones and last year they had some that were a little bit bigger and they were donuts and they had so many cute ones like when are those gonna come out because my dog popped those last year, so I need some new ones. And I don't wanna go spend a bunch of money on some new ones like from a pool store or Target or something like that where they're way more expensive than a dollar because I do not trust my dog not to eat our pool flow right now. He doesn't eat it, he just bites it and then pops it. I picked up some Dollar Tree makeup. The LA, I think it's all, yeah, the LA Colors brand. Oh no, this one's Color Mate. So I got this one by LA Colors. I also picked up this one. And then I picked up this one by the Color Mates brand. I've used some of these eyeshadows a long time ago, but like I said, it was a long time ago, so I've since thrown them out because I don't like to keep makeup too long, especially like from the Dollar Tree. Uh, so I really don't remember how they worked. I wanted to give them another shot because I wanted to use some of these matte colors. I don't have a ton of matte colors and I love like the browns and stuff. So I'm going to test these out. If you guys would be interested in seeing like a Dollar Tree makeup tested video or get ready with me using Dollar Tree eyeshadows I don't know something like that let me know in the comments below because I would definitely try and film something like that but if you guys don't care I'm still gonna try these out and see how they work because I do think the colors are pretty I've hauled this lighter so many times but this is the first time I've ever seen it in this lime green color I love these lighters I love the size of them it fits in a drawer really well and I love that they're coming out with more colors I love the white they have a purple one too like a purpley pink color that's really pretty that I just got Ooh, I'll show it to you hold on it's definitely purple not really pink but isn't that pretty so cute finally winding down we are near the end two bags left though so whew. I picked up this planter trolley I don't remember ever seeing this at Dollar Tree in the past it has little wheels on it I don't technically need this but I feel like I will eventually need it and I'll be mad when I like wish I would have bought it and I go to Dollar Tree and they don't have it anymore so I went ahead and bought it because I mean, it's kind of cool. I just like that you can kind of just, you know, I don't know. Probably shouldn't even have bought this. But I thought, hey, I can share with you guys. Maybe one of you might need this and be like, oh, I'm so glad you showed me that Dollar Tree has it. I don't know. Totally justifying this in my head, okay? Listen, I don't always buy everything I need. Sometimes I just get things because I think they're cool. It is what it is. <laughs> if you saw my Dollar Tree shop with me yesterday, you will have seen that I found this little, what's it called, water bottle. It is like holographic. I don't know if it's really coming off as holographic on camera, but I thought it was really cute. In this light, it doesn't look as cute as it did at Dollar Tree, and I feel like I got one that's kind of scratched up. Like, look, oh, why did I do that? They had so many to choose from. <sighs> should have paid more attention when I was grabbing it but regardless I think it's a really cute water bottle I think it would be cute in a little Easter basket for a teenager or something it does say BBA free did I already say that I don't even know um, someone did let me know though that they bought this as well in my shop with me and that um, the color eventually came off so I'm not thinking like this is gonna last forever but I think it's super cute regardless Ooh, I found these plates <sighs> aren't these so Pretty. I mean if you don't really like pinky purpley colors then obviously you probably won't like them but I love that they're they've got this like whatever that is like the ridges on it and they're obviously smaller paper plates so pretty if you're having like a little Easter dessert table or something I thought these would look really cute with it or like Easter appetizers something like that I just got them because I wanted them I thought they were super pretty oh I just love them I got some new notebooks I got three new notebooks that I thought were real cute this one has this little cow skull on it I don't know I just thought this was cute more like I think I'm gonna save this one for as it's going into fall a little bit. I don't know why. I go through at least like one notebook a month probably. Like I have different notebooks for different things. So I'm always using a notebook and something just drew me to this one. I couldn't resist this notebook. It says grow through what you go through, which I think is such a cool saying. I really love it and I just love the colors of it. So pretty for spring. So had to grab that one. And then I loved this one as well. I think this pattern is so pretty and I just couldn't resist this one either. And I love that it says amazing things will happen. It's just, you know, putting good vibes out into the universe. I'm all about that life. I picked up these little placards, floss picks.
cupcakes. I love that they're in this case. I showed this in the shop with me too. Um, I thought these would be perfect for in my car. So that's where these are going to go. I found these reusable bags. I've been wanting to find these because I love how small they get. They are not the best quality. Like there's already threads coming off of there if you can see that. But I'm okay with that because since they do get so small, they're perfect to just throw in your purse because I feel like I need to just always keep one in my purse. There are times where I just go into a store and I forget totally to bring a bag in with me. So I feel like if I have one in my purse or even two in my purse, I won't have to deal with that. Plus, I also think that these will be great for the farmer's market for like carrying produce and stuff. You just undo it and then it's a decent size. I mean, I don't feel like you could put something like super, super heavy in there. It should hold up pretty well. And I love this pattern with the little ice creams on it. It's so cute. And then all you have to do is like literally roll it, kind of push it back into itself and then grab this little thing and then go and boom, like how awesome is that? I love that. So this gray one I thought was really cute with the polka dots. Oh, it tricked you, tricked me. It's not even gray with polka dots. It's white with flowers. Now, why would they do that? What? Well, I wanted gray with polka dots. Dang it. Oh, well, I mean, that's cute too, but definitely wasn't expecting that. I feel like they had one other one, but now I just can't remember. I cannot believe it tricked you like that. Tricked me like that. All right, get back in. I'll do it later. I also picked up this little step. I was whacking myself in the head. I almost picked up this little step. What? I also picked up this little step shelf. I wanted to use this to hold all the things that I put in my smoothies, I am putting them all in like little jars. I tested out Dollar Tree because all my jars, jars, oh my God, I can't talk. All my jars that I'm putting all my smoothies stuff in, um, cause I have like collagen powder, I have matcha, I have raw greens, I have protein powder, all the stuff that I put in there. So I use, oh my God, what am I trying to say? I'm using all jars to put that stuff in that I got from Dollar Tree, so I tested out the jars that I'm using at Dollar Tree to see if they would fit on here. And it fits. So, my God, that was a long explanation that probably none of you cared about. <sighs> but I am gonna paint this. I think I'm gonna paint it like black or something because I don't really, maybe it'll make it look a little less cheap. I don't know, we'll see. All that for that. I grabbed another one of these. I think I probably have like 10 of these now. But this one, this one I got when I did my favorite Dollar Tree finds right now or do whatever I titled it. I posted that a few days ago. If you haven't watched it, I will leave it linked down below if you're interested in it. Spoiler alert, this was one of them. And I said in that video that you could use, um, you could put little, uh, oh my God, you could put little hand towels in there and put it in your kitchen. And as I said that, I'm like, why am I not doing that? So that's what I got this one for. I'm gonna like roll up some hand towels that I use to, you know, dry your hands or whatever in the kitchen and put, stick them in there. Won't that be so cute? I'm really excited about that. The whole reason I went to Dollar Tree yesterday was to get these foil sheets. I love these foil sheets. I mistakenly bought the other brand the last time I got them and they were so terrible. So I went to get some more of these because they're just really good. I love them. Oh my God, we're on the last thing. Last thing. Oh, it's not even that exciting of a thing. I hate to end a video like that. Last thing, I picked up a couple more of these coffee mugs. I don't think I actually ever hauled this coffee mug, but it's just, I, they've had these before and we actually have one that's blue on the bottom, like a dark blue on the bottom with the brown at top on the top. They also have a green one on the bottom, brown on top, but this one is black on the bottom with the brown on top and this is going in our studio coffee bar because it kind of like fits that vibe. So I got a couple more of these. Dollar Tree coffee mugs I feel like are always hit or miss. Like sometimes you can find some real cute ones and other times they're like, eh, you know. But regardless, at least 
there's some good ones sometimes. So whew, that is everything that I have picked up at Dollar Tree recently. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and didn't mind it being so super long. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite thing that I picked up or if there's anything that I picked up that you feel like you want to add to your Dollar Tree shopping list. I would love to know. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Woo! That was a lot of stuff.